In this screencast, I'll show you how to add an arithmetic question in Brightspace using variables and a formula. So we click New, go to Arithmetic Question. Now I've got some pre prepared question text here. So I've got the question and it's also got these variables. So it's got an X in curly brackets and the Y in curly brackets. Now when Brightspace displays the question, these will actually display as numbers or a, a range of numbers that uh, I tell it to. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. So this is, if a car takes X hours to travel Y miles, what is the average speed in miles per hour? Okay, so uh, for this, to work this out, we'll need to do Y divided by X. Okay. Now, um, the next thing that we need to do is we need to set the answer precision, and I'm going to set that to 1. So that will calculate the answer to one decimal place and require the students to get the answer to one decimal place. So I could add here, give your answer to one decimal place. OK. So. Um, uh, I could allow a plus or minus error on this, so I could just, let's for argument's sake, just set that to 0 0.1. Um, I could put units if I wanted to actually get them to enter the units. I'm not going to do this in this case. Um, and then we've got some variables. So we can have X, we're going to have Y. So those are the two that we're using uh, in the formula here and also in the question text here. Okay, so the minimum value I'm going to set as 5, the maximum as 10, and I'm going to set this. So Brightspace will randomly assign the X value to be somewhere between 5 and 10, and I'm going to tell it to, to do that in steps of 0 0.1. So it'll go from 5.0 to 5.1 and up all the way up to 10.0. And in order for this to work properly, I'm going to need to set this decimal places to 1 here. That means that when the question is displayed, the students will be shown that value to one decimal place. Of course, I could set it to any number of decimal places I wanted between 0 and 10. And then we've got the distance, and I'm going to set that as a minimum of 200 and a maximum of 300. And I'm going to leave that as 0 and tell it to go in steps of one so it will go in steps of one from 200 to 300 so 200 201 202 all the way up to 300 okay so now if i click preview we can see that we've got uh, 9.3 hours is the time taken and it, we've traveled 227 miles bright space has worked out the answer for us there to one decimal place and so that's all worked out really nicely. So one final thing to mention is that in this formula there are a range of constants and functions that you can use so they're shown here um, and I'll put a link to this web page in the description so you can see the different functions uh, how they how you use them and what they do. Okay so all we need to do now is click Save and that's how you can add an arithmetic question to your question pool in Brightspace using variables and an equation.